There's a major innovation happening at this greenhouse an hour north of Toronto. A family horse farm turned lettuce growers. Haven Greens says it's doing something few have done before, especially on this scale. We get to see the full life cycle, basically. From seeding to germination in these boxes, all the way to harvesting 10,000 pounds a day, everything is done by machines. We have sensors that measure temperature, uh, light intensity, humidity levels, pressure levels. Everything within this greenhouse is automated. No one touches this crop. Not only that, the precise amount of water, light, nutrients, all decided by artificial intelligence. Canadians are looking a lot more closely at where our food comes from. We still rely a lot on the U.S. 90% of our leafy greens come from south of the border. So Wilmot says he hopes his operation will give Canadians another homegrown option. Did I see the trade war coming? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> but I was sick and tired of uh, effectively old, slimy, smelly lettuce. That's super crunchy. The federal government and several provinces have invested millions into automating food production. It requires less labor and reduces greenhouse gas emissions with fewer trucks needed to haul produce across the continent. Some scientists say the expensive technology has to be made available to everyone. We have to keep small farmers also in mind because we don't want to, uh, we want them to operate and uh, thrive in this situation. There are other concerns about using AI in agriculture. We know now, right, the environmental costs um, in terms of data storage, the energy costs. At Haven Greens, Will Mott says he's using solar energy, recapturing emissions, aiming to be net zero in a couple of years, betting produce like his is the future of farming. Lisa Shing, CBC News, King City, Ontario.